Hello children, my name's Jess. How are you today? Are you ready to start our letters and sounds lesson and learn to read some new words? Let's start by reading some phonemes you know. I'll show you the graphemes on the cards and I want you to read them aloud. This first card says I. And this digraph says ow. Now it's your turn, off you go. Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. I, ow, a, e, o, u, uf, ear, air, your, uh, ah. Or, uh, or, mm. Qu, k, I, oi. Right, I'm going to mix the cards up. Can you read the graphemes on the cards? Are you ready? Let's check you got them right. Read aloud with me. E O U A R O A O N I, oi, u, ear, air, your, I, ow, a. Well done. Super sounds. Let's read some words with graphemes we already know. Have a look at this word. Can you spot the digraph? Yes, the digraph is or. Read each sound as I point and then blend the word. F or for. I made a card for my sister. Can you spot the digraph? Yes, the digraph is er. Uh. Sound out and blend. T er. Uh. Mm. Turn. Turn around to face the teacher. Have a look at this word. Can you spot the digraph? Yes, the digraph is uh. Sound out and blend. T uh k took. I took my dog for a walk. Can you spot the trigraph? Yes, the trigraph is your sound out and blend k your cure the doctor found a cure that means the doctor made someone better great reading right i'm going to mix the cards up can you read the words on the cards without any help off you go
Let's check. Read them with me. Turn. Four. Took. Cure. Well done. Today, we're going to review some graphemes we already know. I, ow, u, r, or, a, ng, f, ch. And practice reading them in multisyllabic words. Multisyllabic words are words that have more than one syllable. Let's hear the syllables in these words. Copy me. Rock it. Can you hear the two syllables? Rock it. Rock it. Now let's hear the two syllables in this word. Din a. Uh. Can you hear the two syllables? Din a. Uh, dinner. Let's sound talk a multisyllabic word with the phonemes I and ng. Copy me. Sound talk each syllable and then say both syllables. Uh, I, t. N, I, ng. Uh, I, t. N, I, ng. You have a go. Uh, I, t. N, I, ng. Lightning. I watch the lightning from my bedroom window. Let's sound talk a multisyllabic word with the phonemes R and er. Copy me. F, R, M, er. F, R, M, er. You have a go. R, Mm, a uh, farmer. The farmer fed the sheep. Let's sound talk a multisyllabic word with the phonemes or, ch, and ah. Copy me. Or, ch, ah, d. Or, ch, ah, d. You have a go. Or, ch, ah, d. Orchard. An orchard is where lots and lots of apple trees grow. Let's read some multisyllabic words with graphemes we already know. Have a look at this word. Can you spot the digraph and the trigraph? Yes, the trigraph is I and the digraph is ng. Sound out and blend. Light, n i ng. Lightning. I saw the lightning in the sky. Can you spot the digraphs in this word? Yes, the digraphs are ow and a. Uh. Sound out and blend. P ow d a. Uh. Powder. I poured the paint powder into the water. Can you spot the digraph in this word? Yes, the digraphs are u uh and ng. Sound out and blend. U, u, k, i, ng. Looking. He was looking at the birds. Can you spot the digraphs in this word? Yes, the digraphs are R and a. Uh. Sound out and blend. F, R, M, A. Uh. Farmer. The farmer fed the animals. Can you spot the digraphs in this word? Yes. The digraphs are or, ch, and r. Sound out and blend. Or, ch, r, d. Orchard, but we say orchard. The apples grew in the orchard. Great reading. Right, I'm going to mix the words up. Can you read the words on the cards? Off you go.
Let's check. Read them with me. Lightning. Powder. Orchard. Farmer. Looking. Can you read these again on your own? Off you go. Let's check. Read them with me. Looking. Lightning. Powder. Orchard. Farmer. Right, I'm going to mix the words up again because you're so good at this. Can you read the words on the cards without any help? Off you go. Let's check. Read them with me. Orchard. Powder. Looking. Lightning. Farmer. Fantastic reading, children. We're going to practice reading the tricky words I, B, U, R. Now, I know you know how to read this tricky word. Can you remember the tricky bit? Yes, the tricky bit is, says, I. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. I. Let's have a look at another word. You know how to read this one as well. Can you remember the tricky bit? Yes, the tricky bit is, says, E. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. B. E, B. Can you remember the tricky bit of this word? Yes, the tricky bit is, says, ooh. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. Y, ooh, you. You know how to read this tricky word as well. Can you remember the tricky bit? Yes, the tricky bit is, says, ah. Can you read the word? Let's read it together. Ah. Right, I want you now to read them quickly. I'm going to mix the words up and I want you to read them aloud. Off you go. Let's read them together. You are B I. Did you get them right? Let's read some sentences with graphemes we already know. Have a look at this one. Can you see a word with three digraphs? Yes. This word has three digraphs, or, ch, and, r. Can you see any words with two digraphs? Yes, this word has the digraphs r and a, uh, and this word has the digraphs u uh and ng. Can you see any tricky words we already know? Yes, this is a tricky word we already know. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words and remember to sound out any words you're not sure of. Are you ready? Let's go.
Well done. Now let's read the sentence together. The farmer is in the orchard looking at the lightning. Let's read the sentence together again and read as I point to the words. The farmer is in the orchard looking at the lightning. The orchard probably isn't the best place for the farmer to look at the lightning. Let's have a look at another sentence. Can you see a word with three digraphs? Yes, this word has three digraphs, th, k and a. Uh. Can you see any words with two digraphs? Yes, this word has two digraphs, ow and a. Uh. Can you see a tricky word we already know? Well done. This is a tricky word we already know. Now I want you to read aloud as I point to the words. Off you go. Now, let's read the sentence together. The powder got thicker as I added the liquid. Well done. Let's read the sentence together one more time and read as I point to the words. The powder got thicker as I added the liquid. I wonder what was being made with the powder. Well done children. Let's finish by spelling some words because if you can read a word then you can have a go at spelling it. You will need your paper and something to write with. Let's spell two longer words with our review sounds. Let's spell farmer. Segment the sounds with me. Farmer. F-R-M-A. Let's count how many sounds there are. F, R, M, A. That's four sounds. Watch me write farmer. Remember, I need four sounds. My first sound is F. My second sound is a digraph. R. My third sound is M mm, and my fourth sound is also a digraph. A. Uh, farmer. A. M. A. Now it's your turn. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. Remember, there's four sounds. And don't forget the digraphs, R and A. Uh. Right, let's check our spelling. Does your word look the same as mine? Did you remember all four sounds? Lovely, right, let's spell thicker. Segment the sounds with me. Thicker, th-i-k-a. Let's count how many sounds there are. Th-i-k-a. That's four sounds. Watch me write thicker. Remember, I need four sounds. The first sound is a digraph. Th. 
my next sound I my third sound is also a digraph And my fourth sound's also a digraph. Uh, thicker. Thick. Uh. Now it's your turn. Say the word. Say the sounds. Write them down. Remember, there's four sounds. And don't forget the digraphs, k and a. Uh. Right, let's check our spelling. Do our words look the same? Did you remember all four sounds? Right, now it's time to spell some tricky words. We've spelled the tricky word I before, so let's practice spelling it again. Segment the sounds with me. I, I. Let's count how many sounds there are. I, that's one sound. Watch me write I. It's tricky because this grapheme says I. And I need to remember that it's a capital letter. Right, now it's your turn to have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. What's the tricky bit? The sound I is written with the letter I. And write them down and remember it's just one sound this time. Don't forget it's a capital letter as well. Okay, let's check our spelling. Did you get that one sound? Did you make sure it was a capital letter? Okay, let's move on to our last word then. We've spelled the word R before, so let's practice spelling it again. Segment the sounds with me. R, R. Let's count how many sounds there are. R, that's one sound. Watch me write R, and remember, just one sound. But it's tricky because three letters... Say, ah. Oh. Okay, now it's time for you to have a go. Say the word. Say the sounds. What's the tricky bit? The sound ah oh, is written with the letters A, R, E. Write them down. It's just one sound again. Okay, let's check our spelling. Have a look. Do our words look the same? Wow, I have been so impressed with your work today. You are all superstars. See you soon for another lesson with Letters and Sounds. Bye. Bye.